For those looking to make their own elixir of deep sea, trying to get crystal coral pre-order can take weeks to get a couple, let alone enough to make enough elixirs to use. This is where underwater gathering comes in, with the only other way to gather those crystals needed while waiting for someone to sell you some. Welcome back to the series that tries to have fun with dead life skilling content, my name is Teddy, and today I'll be showing you how to gather those coral crystals and how much silver you can make while doing it. So get those boats ready and let's start diving. The ocean has a lot of rare drops that can make a lot of money if you're lucky enough, but with how long it can take to find any, ocean content is often not done making it dead, but for those who enjoy underwater gathering, coral has some interesting drops like the coral crystal. These can only be obtained from green, blue, and purple coral that spawn all around the entrance to Megoria, but we do have an easier spot. So I'm out here in Waves Rest where there's a nice amount of blue, purple, and at least two green coral in one area. With having to wait for any pre-orders to fill, this is the only other option for those who only life skill, but these crystals do have an extremely low drop rate, and with some proper gear, you should be able to increase your chances on finding one. Because the drop rate is increased with mastery, using all mastery gear is suggested, and if you want to see all the underwater gathering gear you can use, the link will be in the corner and in the description below. I highly suggest checking that out if you're new to underwater gathering and still need your gear. As for crystals, I'll be using my gathering preset with the two submerged crystals instead of the gathering experience so I can stay underwater longer. Getting all buffed up, let's not waste any more time and start gathering. This is a really short route with the main focus here being along the coastline. This area is great for gathering coral in general, with the chance of getting a colored coral, the coral pieces sell for a nice amount, and if you're lucky, the whole reason why you're out here, one of the coral crystals. Keep in mind, this is not going to be an easy thing to do, so if you're looking to make a couple thousand deep sea elixir, or just start selling a couple thousand crystals at a moment's notice, this is not going to be for you. This is meant to help out those wanting to gather their own coral crystal, and you should just enjoy the game your own pace. Luckily, with all the coral pieces, I'll use them to heat with other gems to craft the Crogdillo Mount gear or Mano Spelt. The colored coral will be great for not having to use as many gems. I'll just have to worry about the resplendent gems instead of getting the extra rough or regular. For those who enjoy cooking, this is a nice way to get all the shrimp, lobster, and occasionally giant pearl oyster meat. These, of course, are great for the seafood crunch meal. I'll be heating lobsters to get the glue to make the Grand Vier stirrups and horseshoes throughout the week. Lastly, the golden pearls are going to be used to craft the saddles to sell, but with only a few oysters here in the area, I won't be relying too much on the pearls. I wish there were more green coral for crystal attempts, but at least there's enough rounded purple coral to see if I can get lucky. But once you have everything gathered here on the coast, you can move into the center of Waves Rest. It has more coral to gather, but once that's all gone, you can easily start changing channels. Really quick, let me know if you've tried to find any coral crystals or if you gave up trying. With how long it can take just to get one, I completely understand not even trying. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying all the life skilling content here on the channel. But jumping back into this, gathering with max inventory, increased weight, tons of maids, or even a ship that has more inventory slots can extend how long you can stay out here at Waves Rest before needing to go back into town. Another little item that can help either increase the money made or extend how long you can stay out here is the archaeologist map. If you manage to snag one after months of trying to find the last pila coup pieces, because I've done this a couple times, and I know how hard it can be just to find one, I probably won't find any, but don't worry. Searching for some can make some decent money the longer you gather, but once all my inventory is bogged down with lobsters, I'll change to my solo processing gear so I can heat them all, and if you want to see how to increase your processing success rate, don't worry. I'll be making a guide on that, so be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss when that comes out. Processing takes the longest, and I normally save this for when my inventory is completely full or at the end of every hour. And for everyone who guessed that I was going to be making an episode on fishing out here, I normally keep an ult out here to fish, but with the need for higher gathering mastery, my main is the only one able to attempt to find any coral crystals. Having most of the coral close to the surface, I wouldn't have to worry about the shark costume using an alt, but that mastery is a huge factor. There's normally no one out here gathering, so you shouldn't have to worry about being killed, but just in case you're still worried, there's no requirement on underwater gathering, so lower level alts can be stationed out here to speed up one to come out to wait for us. Choosing to gather at Anaha Island would get more lobster and coral, so coming out here, I wouldn't be shocked if this doesn't make me the same amount. And remember, this is dead content, so if it's not exciting to you, don't worry, you're not alone. 
But with this gathering session coming to an end, I'll heat all my lobsters and dry all my oysters. Here's what I was able to get for the whole gathering session. Yeah, the longer you stay out here and the higher your mastery, the more drops that can be obtained with luck being more of a factor. There will be some times where you get nothing. Using my archaeologist map, I'll head to granite and start listing everything. Starting out with the coral pieces, they will make a total of 96.6 mil, which will be saved for later. For all the glue, each batch will make 105 mil for a total of 205 mil. I was able to get a good amount of Tridona giant clam meat, which will sell for 16 mil. The deep sea fruit will sell for another 16 mil. And as for the sharps, I will make 13.9 mil. The hards can make 28.8 mil. And lastly, the black gem fragments will make me 30 mil. After converting all my dust into cafras, they'll sell for 108 mil. In total, all of this will sell for 518 mil, give or take 100 mil for all the colored coral and lesser drops I didn't get many of. Like stated before, ocean content is dead, but there are some interesting drops that can be found if you take the time. Though this is not the best way to level gathering, this is the only way to get those coral crystals while you're waiting for any of those pre-orders. Granted, this is not going to be the most fun you'll have. I mainly choose to underwater gather when I'm needing the corals or looking for the lobsters since the drop rate of the coral crystal is about 0.005% if that's correct. But with how much the crystals can make on their own before making the elixirs, coming out here at least once a week can ensure you get some crystals and can still use the corals to craft with. I hope this helps you start going out and looking for those crystals to make your own deep sea elixirs while you're waiting. And for all those who didn't know how to get those pesky little drops, this should help you decide if underwater gathering is worth it for you. And I just wanted to apologize for how long it's taken me to get a new episode out with all the new updates and the game being changed each week. New ways to make money has a list of content always growing, but also the older content is either being changed or removed. But don't worry though, more episodes are on the way and I can't wait for the new region to start making even more episodes on useless ways to make money or just wasting the time. If you found this helpful or just enjoyed the video, make sure to share this. It helps grow the channel and let's see how quickly we can hit 5k subscribers. And if you want to stay up updated with any new Black Desert content that I'll be uploading, you can head over to Twitter and find me at Finals Twin, where I like to post screenshots or any new uploads that I like to do, just in case you missed any notifications here. But as always, if you want to see more Black Desert content, click on this video here, and I'll see you in the next episode. Keep gathering out there.